Well, hey everyone, this is Mark and Stephen again. We're here today to hopefully encourage you. Coming up is the Christmas holidays. Amen. Yep, yeah, I'm excited about Christmas. I love the fact that we all get together as a family. It does awaken us and remind us of people other than ourselves. Yeah, we've had a great team here decorating the church. Uh, if you get a chance to stop by, it looks really awesome uh, in the sanctuary all over the building. Yeah. There's wreaths everywhere. Uh, it looks very Christmassy around. We're excited about it. Yeah, and then also Christmas, I love the fact that it is about Jesus, and it is about what he's done for us, and it is celebrating his birth. Um, and it also it makes the whole world go on pause for a moment and remind us that it, we're not here alone, and it's bigger than us. Mm-hmm. And some of the stuff that you brought up Sunday kind of freed some people up, I think, in your teaching. It would be nice if we can talk a little bit about what you brought up and the simplicity of love. Yeah. One of the things I love that you'll say sometimes is we got to start to lower the bar to help us realize that we don't have to have all these degrees and be qualified and pre-qualified to go out and love anyone. Yeah. And sometimes we raise the bar so high in the church that we think we need all these qualifications and titles to finally be used by the Lord. But if we can actually see it as lowering the bar where people just realize if they take one step forward, it's a step more than they took yesterday, Mm -hmm. they're moving in the right direction with the Lord. And what that step looks like is important because we want to make sure we're partnering with the Lord when we take that step. Yeah, and I mean, especially in the holidays, you know, last week, one of the places we started with, like you mentioned, was um, in Galatians 5, it talks about being set free for freedom's sake. Mm-hmm. And what Jesus did is he, he came and he loved us in a way where there were no strings attached. Yeah, He gave everything of himself with no assurance that we would ever respond to him going the distance and trying to love us, that we would... The, the just for the possibility that we would acknowledge him sometime in the future mm-hmm. you know and so we have that same opportunity surrounding us when we're here and you know with, for all of us the holiday season you know when we go out um, it's kind of the happiest of times but it also can be the most stressed sure. out discouraged depressing times for a lot of people around us and we have this unique opportunity because we are the light and we are love walking on the earth. We have this opportunity to be sensitive to the people around us. And how can we, in small measures, offer that no strings attached type of love, especially during the holiday season? Yeah. You know, studies go uh, to show that some of the most depressing and discouraging times for, for family members and loved ones are during those holiday seasons, whether they had a traumatic experience um, growing up, whether they lost a loved one sometime around the holidays. Um, the same times that, that those of us that have great families are having some of the happiest times right. for other people, this is the bottom of the barrel. That's right. And, and if we kind of just, I would encourage all of us during the season to try to keep uh, in the forefront of our minds that we are spirit beings. Mm-hmm. And that before we step out of our homes, just take a quick stock of how you're feeling, um, what kind of frame of mind you're in. Because when you go out in society, your discernment of what's going on around you, uh, if you're not careful, you'll subject yourself to it rather than recognize it and do something to change it. That's right. You know, we have that opportunity to either come into an atmosphere and, and participate or subject ourselves to it, or we can actually be a change agent that begins to reverse that for somebody else. I love that because the reality of Christ coming to the earth, which is the best gift we could ever want, was so that we could be transformed and take on his life, that we can have life and have it more abundantly. And to be able to share that openly Mm -hmm. with people who are desperate, who don't have life, who are not living uh, in a place right now where they um, see life or have hope, that we get to be the present now because it's the hope of glory Christ in us. We have the opportunity to go out right now as we go about our way, about our day and wherever we go to share the love of God. And we don't have to be forceful with it. All we have to do is just walk with the Lord. And the minute we wake up in the morning, like you said, check in with the Lord. And he's directing your footsteps. And just be mindful throughout the day that you're checking in with the Lord and who out there um, you're going to come in contact with. You know, We have divine appointments all the time. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Luke 10, you know, the story of the Good Samaritan. Um, when when the uh, the young the young ruler comes and he wants to basically justify or test Jesus in saying, "Hey, look, I've kept all of these commandments," and Jesus says, "You know, you know the commandments that love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself." And it says that the the young man wanting to justify himself said, "Well, who is my neighbor?" Mm-hmm. You know, and and then Jesus goes into this simplistic story where he says that 
you know, there are other people that are on the journey that are too focused on where they're going to see that there's somebody uh, beaten and bruised or dying right. on the side of the road. But the Good Samaritan was the one that was willing to forsake where he was going in order to minister to the need that had presented itself right there in his midst. That's right. And, and one of the simplest ways to walk with the Lord um, during this time and, and to practice walking with the Lord is not to get so concerned with the, de the destination or where you're headed right. and be sensitive to the opportunities that present themselves throughout your day. Exactly. Whether that's uh, a cashier that's stressed out and having a tough time um, you know, right. at the checkout and you just yep. sit there and genuinely thank them and show gratitude and show kindness, um, giving a $5 gift card to your mail carrier. It, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. The, the point is the Lord, if you... Um, if you, it says, if you draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. And so if you just begin to make yourself available right. to the Lord and say, Holy Spirit, I want to do something today to partner with you and show a no strings attached kind of love to someone. He'll bring to your mind a picture of a person, yeah. maybe the name of a person, um, a situation or circumstance. And then you step into that and you just radiate what love looks like Sketched in a way that disarms what the enemy is trying to do in that other person's life. Yeah, because if you think about it, this time of year is so diabolical. It really is. You have this one side of it is love and peace and it's this family. And the other side of it, you feel the weight of humanity. Yeah and the depression and the darkness, and it's all there. You're staring at it all, and you're like, Lord, you know, and if we're not careful, we'll walk away sometimes, like you said, taking on the wrong influence, mm -hmm. and then we'll start acting that out or carrying that, and that's not who we really are. That's not our true nature. Our true nature is hope, love, peace, joy. We have the nature of Christ in us, and it is a present for the world. Yeah. And I love the fact that we could go out and share that with as many people as possible, and I realize, and this is cliche sounding, but giving really is living i realized when and you experience this i'm sure when we go out and we give the love of the lord away his life begins to course through us it awakens me not and i realize wait a minute i've been duped a little bit maybe mm -hmm. i'm not maybe like you say maybe i'm selling the lord short of who he really is yeah. and uh so just take that step of faith that one step and a kind word here a kind word there wherever the lord's leading you a five dollar gift card maybe for the for the mailman or, or whoever the Lord is leading you towards and the way he wants to do it, just partner with him. And, uh, and I'm, and I'm, I'm well, uh, assured that he's, he's going to show me yeah. as I step out, yeah. you know? Absolutely. And, and we may get to talk some more about this, um, this upcoming Sunday, you know, if it, if it works out during the service, but in, in Luke six, uh, or I mean, in, yeah, in Luke 6, uh, when you're sitting there, Jesus is talking and he says that um, he's basically giving a new standard uh, for how to give mm -hmm. and how to live. And he says, if you do good only to those that do good to you, what credit is that to, do, to mm -hmm. you? For even sinners do it that way. If you give expecting something in return, um, what credit is that to you? Because right. even sinners that, you know, do that. So it, it comes down to saying, hey, you need to love even if you're not going to receive love back and give expecting nothing in return. And that's when we get into that next sentence where it says give, and it will be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together. We sometimes take a shortcut and go straight to that. Right, because because he took so much time to right. lay out what that giving looks like. Yeah. And, and we can get to that place where we can give not knowing whether anything's going to come back the same way that Jesus did for us. Right. And that's truly how we begin to, to build credit in heaven. Because it says, what credit is it to you if you live the same way that the world does? That's right. So we know if we start to give and we start to love the way that Jesus loved and gave to us, yeah. then it actually builds credit in heaven so that when we need to access that or draw upon that to see somebody's life changed, we've built that equity up. That's right. We have that to draw from because we have been putting in or living, depositing the same way that Jesus did in our own lives. Yeah. And even when he comes up to the upper room, when he comes back to show his disciples that he's alive, and he says, put your hand in my hole, my, my hands. And, and he was telling the disciples, or, or showing himself to the disciples, he actually ends a comment with, you have freely received, mm -hmm. now freely give. And he's making a point that it's all been given to us freely, and that he expects us to freely give it away without charge, without any owing anybody anything but love on this earth. Yeah. 
So this can be one of the most enjoyable, fun times of your life, um, even during these holiday seasons. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. You don't have to stop doing the other things that you are doing, but simply just um, turn your turn your attention towards the Lord. You know, yeah. I love I love Brother Lawrence's book, Practicing the Presence of God. Um, it's a short read. If you haven't read it before, I really encourage you to do so. But to summarize even a short version, he basically says, in as often as you can throughout your daily life, acknowledge the Lord, that He really is walking and that He's really with you. Mm -hmm. And if you find that it's been a long time since you've acknowledged Him, say you're sorry and start again. That's good. And that's the sum total of, of what we would want to encourage you guys with. What we're reminding ourselves of even during this time is that no matter how busy you are or how many other things are coming in externally, just simply take time to acknowledge the Lord and say, how can I participate with you to love somebody today? Is it really that simple? It is. It's so simple we've complicated it. Absolutely. So, that's good. Awesome. Well, Merry Christmas. We hope to see you guys over the next couple of weeks, but uh, we're believing for a great 2016. Looking forward to it. See you guys later.